And the final example that I'd like to point out is that when you build an application with traditional tools, and someone says, well, now we can use those same traditional tools and methods, only deliver it on a virtualized platform in the cloud, well, that seems like it might have some advantages in terms of scalability and time to market. But think about the implications of an application being built with high-level composition of services as the model, rather than lots and lots of lines of code as the model, and the fact that now when the platform acquires a new capability, applications can simply manifest that new capability without the application being rewritten. And let me give you again a concrete example. In June of this year, we turned on our Chatter product, which some people have described as being what Twitter would be if Facebook had designed the user interface. It's a threaded conversation model in which you elect to follow people or follow accounts or follow other abstract entities and then have an opportunity to participate in providing profiles or groups or other social means of interaction around those things. Well, when we turned on Chatter in June, every application that had been built on our Force.com cloud platform acquired, unless it specifically chose not to acquire, that social capability where all the data objects could now be followed and all the users who had credentials to use that application could now start to participate in following relationships. This is a level of seamless improvement to an application's base that simply could not be achieved with the traditional code and platform and middleware stack model. And I would hope that you'd be able to start looking for the same kind of, of revelatory change in the basic rules of how things are done that the cloud can enable. I do not believe that it's feasible for anyone today to start a new IT venture that's based on the assumption that people will purchase hardware, find square footage, power and cooling, hire headcount to do the uncompetitive, advantageous activities of maintaining a commodity software stack. I simply do not believe that. Do I believe that 10 years from now there will still be mainframes? Absolutely. 20 years, 30 years, sure. On the Starship Enterprise, the language that cuts the paychecks will be called COBOL. This is not about replacing what's working. This is about all the things that would be done if they were feasible from a time, cost, and capability point of view to do. Like the Petrobras exercise I described to you a little while ago, I said to an executive in Mexico City a few weeks ago, give us the 20 applications you wish you could have and we'll come up with some pilot projects. And he interrupted me and said, 20? We've got 200 applications that some business unit somewhere has said, do you think you could build this for me? Because without those applications, what do they do? They do something that some folklore process of spreadsheets and email and who knows what business rule. That's not the way to go forward. There is, as a result of the economies and efficiencies and accelerations of the cloud, there is an enormous opportunity to lower the cost and increase the value of building tailored, customized applications for specific business processes. And you know, when I draw supply and demand curves, if I can increase the value of something while lowering its cost, I'm going to shift those curves in a way that enormously expands the overall size of that market. And this is why my last caution is do not oversell cloud computing as a cost reduction proposition, because if you do, you will be confining people to the wrong vision of what it can do. Think of it in terms of value creation. Think of it in terms of spending a little bit more, probably, over the next 10 years, but getting an enormous competitive advantage in faster implementation of higher function applications that create genuine advantage in the marketplace. It is, again, my pleasure to have been with you. I'm sorry I can't take questions and answers uh, directly, but I am available to you, of course, on email. It's pcoffee, P-C-O-F-F-E-E, -E, at salesforce.com. Have a great conference.